means, I mean, today I'm working on the Zephyr uh, vent hood. Uh, I will be replacing these uh, light sockets. The reason you're replacing the light sockets if they are burned, if they are broken, or if they are seized. In this case, one of the light sockets are uh, seized on this unit, but I'm going to replace both of them just to be on the safe side. The part is not very expensive. You might as well do both of them at the same time. And I will show you how to do this. Uh, in order to do this um, light socket, um, when you order your light socket, it does not come with light bulb. You have to get your light bulb separately. They're 120 watts, 35 watts. Uh, they look similar to these and also we need, uh, we need this tool it's like a suction cup that you will be uh, using it on the light bulb to install it uh, you will kind of hook it like this tight and then that way you can turn it back and forth and here i'll show you how the vent hood looks here this is the vent hood. If you're looking for your model number for Zephyr vent hood, uh, it's straight at the bottom here. Your model number and serial number is right there. And if you need any light bulb, you can actually take the light bulb out and read the back of it. It would tell you on the light bulb how many uh, watts and uh, volts. This one is 120 volts, 35 watts. And here I'll turn on the light. And if you look here, one light is missing because I was not able to install the light properly back again. I spent more than 10 minutes playing around with the light bulb. Um, I couldn't get it to uh, set properly that one was easier and I ordered the light socket and I'll replace it and show you how to do this Okay, before you start working here If you have an oven here under the um, vent hood, of course you will have an oven or a cooktop um, always uh, use a, a blanket or protection here to make sure you don't drop anything or don't uh, scratch it um, You can lock the um, oven and there's a child lock button on this you can lock your oven from the top and then of course you're not going to touch anything on the knobs i will have this one here and then on top i will have my blanket and while you're working here be careful to not uh, uh, touch with your belly uh, these switches because you can turn it on by mistake and it's not good to do Before you work on it, you want to turn off the power. You need a um, Phillips drill bit, which is this one. So this is a Phillips number two, PH number two. And once the unit goes off, I will start working on it. Thank you. So the power is off. Um, I'm gonna take this screw off. This one. While you're taking these screws off, you kind of uh, hold the, this front piece with the back of your hand and then that way uh, it comes off. And then once you take these three screws off, drop it down slowly and here in this position uh, you can disconnect your uh, wires here once you disconnect this you can lift it up and pull it down In order to replace these uh, light sockets, what you can do is uh, you have to open it from both sides. <coughs> it's Phillips screws.
If you scratch this area, it's okay because nobody's gonna see it. It's uh, towards the ceiling, you're okay. And then here, how it looks from here, from inside. Here, this is how it looks from inside. What you can do is you have to take these a small Phillips screws out. These are the screw size, they're tiny. There's another one. One of the work comes from here, from this area. Another one comes from this area. You kind of open it. And then here you go, it comes out. And this is the new one. The way you're installing this, to put your wires like this. In this position and then add your screws back in you kind of see where the hole is lining up you add a screw and then you tighten back You do not have to over tighten it. Uh, if you're a homeowner, please do not use drill. I do not recommend using the drill because you don't know the speed of the drill and how tight you can uh, retight this. Just use your hand screwdriver and retight these screws. You're good to go. If you're comfortable using the drill, it's okay. Otherwise, I do not be, uh, recommend using that. So it's done. And then you can also uh, have your light so the light goes in this position put it inside and turn it here the light, the light is on and now we have to reinstall it back in here the next challenging uh, work would be <coughs> pulling it out from here you need a special tool for this. Sometimes you can have a pointy screwdriver, like a hook, you can use it. And sometimes there is actually a special key that you need to insert that straight right here and push it in. Uh, these lines, they come out like this one. You see the way that looks. So you kind of use a smaller screwdriver a flat screwdriver push these pins in and then pull it out it's just not coming out so you have to work on it back and forth Here, the way it comes out in order to pull this out if you look um, closely here they have little small pointy um, sides so with the screwdriver you want to push it in and then pull it out take your time don't rush otherwise you're gonna damage this uh, connector You can you can crush this it's okay because this is garbage anyways here this one came off and now when you reinstall the new one you just insert it from this side put it right here and then push it you hear that click noise it's in the same way this one you hear that it's on and you can also see it from inside here this part is done and now i'll go on this side
Okay, so the light bulb is still there. If I can just turn it and pull the light bulb out. We got two screws here. See, it's not moving back and forth. Play with it. Make sure the uh, screws are tight enough, and then that's all. You don't have to over tight it. Here's the quickie part again. So you're kind of crushing it from inside. So you see how I crushed it in? And then that way you can get to the back of it where those little small wings are. Crush it and then pull it out. Here, this one came off easily. That one still need to work hard. Here, this one came off too. And then when installing the new one, you insert it from this way, from the back. Do not insert it this way. If you do that, it's not right. Insert it this way. You hear that click? You hear that click? And then pull it out again to make sure it's tight. And here. Look from inside, it looks good. And now I will reinstall this back end. While the unit uh, part is out, I would recommend replacing your light bulb. That way it's more easier. If you use your uh, suction cup, it's more easier, but you don't have to, you can always do it without the suction cap here looks like this and then you can also help yourself by here that's good this came out there's another one Okay, so the, the reason I wasn't able to do this uh, easily was I made a small mistake here and I'll fix it. So here I'll show you this. Small mistake I made here is I did not tighten it. And if you see this movement, see this uh, movement, I should not have this much play here. And we tighten it back. See, I do not have that play anymore. That's good. The way you're installing it back again, there is that. You see this uh, lip? This needs to go at the back. So you kind of hold it. Go to the back slowly. And then you can reconnect your wires.
if you have another person it's more easier so they can hold it and then you're doing your wirings but you can always do it like this while you're holding it like that or you can always hold it from this wire if you're okay You got three screws to put back in. You want to do the center one first. Here. And then you can do the rest. This is a burnt one, I don't know if I can turn the other one. You may want to play around back and forth, <clears throat> and then once it goes inside, you turn it and then turn on the light again and see here they're both working this section cup belongs to the customer and if the customer doesn't have it you can order one of these and give it to them they are not expensive it makes the customer job more easier as a technician it's easier for you to do the light bulbs without the suction cup but if the customer has this part then it's easier for them to change their light bulb <clears throat> thank you so much for watching my videos uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos share it with others you can also follow me on facebook it's called hamid appliances repair thank you <laughs>